I'm going to take another stab at the 20 pin QFN packages. I really appreciate the comments on the last videos, gives me a direction to move in, and truly shortens the learning curve. Now that I have the hot air station, I've changed the way I install most of my surface mount resistors, capacitors, and the like. I put solder on all the pads, trying to leave the solder in a low smooth mound on the pad, then spread a thin coating of flux on. For the parts, I do try and put the chips over the pads as evenly as possible. A little bit of twist doesn't seem to cause a problem. The hardest thing is trying to keep the flux off the tweezers. The flux really makes the parts stick and almost impossible to transfer to the PC board. Just an aggravation. I wonder if anyone has tried a vacuum SMD pickup tool that works well. Several years ago, I bought a, I don't know how you pronounce it, AOYUE932. Well, I'm still using tweezers. These little test boards have all 20 QFN pads connected to something, even if it's just a test point to check with a scope. I did include one LED. Seems the LEDs are about the most temperature sensitive part. I guess it's hard to make clear lenses that hold up well to high temps. Anyway, if I melt the LED, I know I've overdone it with the heat. Hot air time. A little heat over the whole thing till I see the flux thin a bit. Then closer at the parts till I see them move into place. Saves quite a bit of time over soldering each one with a soldering iron. I really am enjoying the hot air station. Now this board is ready for a QFN test run. A thin layer of flux. I started putting solder on and realized I hadn't heated the board up. So I put a bit of hot air on it. Of course, I get way too much solder on the thermal pad. At least now I know when it's too much. So I solder wick it off but then basically have to start over on the pads. I have the soldering iron set to 510 degrees here, so it doesn't boil away the flux. At the lower iron temp, and a bit of work can get a nice mound of solder on the tiny pads. If I'd quit hitting the thermal pad, it would make things a lot easier. I want to double check the mounting orientation of the chip. The solder on the thermal pad is not smooth, so going to do more than just a preheat. Going to go ahead and reflow the solder. Of course, after that we'll have to apply some flux. Then placing the IC, trying to get it as close to square as I can. Now the hot air. I have the air temperature set for 800 degrees and the air volume at 5%. These are very small parts. Even after the solder at the pads melts, I keep the heat on for a few seconds. I want to make sure the solder melts on the thermal pad, but I don't want to heat it so long that all the flux boils away. Now I'm not trying to hold the chip in place anymore or push down on it. That was causing alignment problems. Let me clean it off and see if I can get a better view of the connections. Those look good. A nice little solder fillet on each pad to pad joint and a pretty consistent one. The other 10 pins also look quite good. I'm very happy with that. I'll run some power to the board and then see if the pick will program. This 20 pin pick has two power pins, three pins for programming, one pin to the LED, and 14 pins go to test pads. The program toggles the pins to the LED and the 14 test pads every one millisecond. 
and I put a 430 ohm load resistor on each of the 14 test pad pins. So as long as the signal looks like this on a pad, I'm satisfied the pin is properly connected. I'm starting to feel pretty good about using the small, no lead packages. After getting the hot air station, I did want to try some sorter paste. So I grabbed some 6337 No Clean, and it might be a bit old. The tip that comes with this is not going to cut it. It's way too large a diameter. I'm going to use the smallest tip I have. I think it's 22 gauge. I'll see if I can push the paste through it. So this seemed like a perfect project to give the paste a test run on. It's a little hard to push through this small gauge needle. Maybe I should have not bought surplus. It doesn't stick great to the pads, and I have no idea if this is too much or not enough. Even this small tip is huge compared to the pads for the QFN package, so I'll see how it goes. It's not pretty. Now I'll try and put the parts on. I'm hoping that as long as each terminal is in the sorter paste, it will sorter. With the sorter paste, it's a little easier to put the resistors and capacitors in place compared to the sorter pads with a little flux on them. The sorter paste for the QFN is a mess. I'm going to try and get it aligned pretty close. A little bit of preheat. I like the way that's flowing. Oh, way too much on the QFN package. That did very nice, except for the most important part. I'll pull it off and see. Maybe a tad too much on the thermal pad, way too much on the little pads. A bit of solder wick. Bit of flux. and even out the pads a bit. Remove the sorter bridge from the chip. Get the QFN in position. Put the hot air to it. Let's take a closer look. Looks pretty good. Not as big a fillets as the first one, and not as consistent. Only one pin gives me concern. It has a very tiny sorter fillet. That's the only pin I'm not really happy with, but should be fine. I'll power it up and see if it will program. Programmed fine, at least five pins are connected. Now I'll do a test of the pins. Everything looks good. I'm going to try the paste again. This time going to spread a bit of flux on before applying the sorter paste. See if it has dried out a bit. I don't think it has because it really flowed good. 
Going to spread the paste for the QFN pads with a pick. See if I can get it thinner and a bit more even. Getting a tiny amount of sorter paste evenly on the QFN pads is going to be a challenge. I don't think this is going to work doing it by hand. I'll get the QFN package aligned. Well, that looks a mess. Well, that's not moving into position. Still too much sort of paste in spots. Not good. I'll pull it off and take a look. A couple of pads bridged. Now for the bigger SMD pads, I really like the way the sorter paste works. Would like a way to put it on a bit more evenly, but doesn't seem to be too critical about placement or amount. For the fine pitch pads, not going to a work applied by hand. Really am glad I tried the sorter paste. Think it might end up being my preferred sorter for SMD devices, as long as the pad is large enough. For the no lead IC packages, I think applying solder to the pads with the iron at as low a temperature as possible, trying not to touch the thermal pad. I want as much solder on the pads as possible, but very little on the thermal pad. Then reflow the solder. May not have to reflow if I can use solder paste for the thermal pad, and of course not touch it with the soldering iron. Then do my best to get the IC aligned on the board. I think if I do those things well, after applying the hot air, I will have a successfully sorted IC. I guess it's time to move up in pen count. It can't get that much harder, can it? Thank you for watching.